Hey guys, what's going on? This is Trajan, and we're doing my poll list for March 7, 2018. And I know by the time this is posted, it's going to be like March 11th, March 12th. But I wasn't able to pick these up until late because of work. But, so we're going to start off. And I bought the two reprints. This is uh, Spider-Man Web, Web of Spider-Man, I think it was. The one-shot. And then the reprint of Spider-Man 300. Uh, I just like, the, I really do like these reprints. I think they do a great job. It's also very interesting to see uh, the way things were. And let me just say something. I kind of like the storytelling in these better than modern comics, but whatever. Anyway, then Batman White Knight number six. I read it. Amazing. Am amazing. The car chase was great. Mr. Freeze was great. Batgirl. I'm a Batgirl fan now. What? Sean Gordon Murphy is hitting it out of the park with this. I can't wait for the hardcover. I'm definitely going to get it. I kind of wish I was collecting the variants, but yeah. Oblivion Song number one by Image is written by Robert Kirkland. And, uh, sorry, Kirkman, and this is the dude who did Walking Dead. This is really fucking good. Like, I was shocked at how good it was. I might do a full-blown review on it, but if I don't, you should actually go and try to pick this up. It's about, uh, monstrosities have taken over America, and everybody from America, like, warped to, like, a different plane or, like, a different place. And the American government had a program where they would send guys to warp in back to the monstrosity infected America and they would try to rescue people and warp them back and basically they're cutting funding and they're shutting the program down but the main guy who's in charge of like warping there wants to keep doing it and he has like a little he has a small little team and uh I'm not, I don't want to ruin the rest of it but it's really cool and he has reasons that he wants to continue trying to rescue people it's really fucking cool I actually really liked it check it out Imaginary Fiends number four is written by Seely. The dude, he's the dude who's doing Green Lanterns right now. I've like I've read the first arc of Green Lanterns. I actually picked up Green Lanterns again here, and I thought it was okay. I know people, a lot of people don't like it. It's not as good as uh, the previous writer whose name escapes me at the moment, but I think it's fine. And Imaginary Fiends is really good. One through three were really good. I have issues with the ending of three, not even the ending. It's the second to last page. I have an, I have an issue with because it just kind of seems to come out of nowhere. It's kind of it's very abrupt. It's like oh they're here now, really like whatever. But it's really cool, and I'm looking forward to reading this one. Next is Batman number 42. We're going to continue with Janin's art. I don't like his art. I said it before, I think it's too digital. But the storyline seems fine. I'm, I'm fine with Batman and Catwoman. I, I don't see an issue with it. Like, I don't know why people are complaining about it. Anyway, Superman number 42. <laughs> this is just a sick cover. Uh, whatever, Superman's cool. I have no issue with Superman. Teen Titans number 17, I literally bought this just because of the cover. I did it. I judged the book by its cover. Uh, this cover, it's a variant cover, and it is a uh, dank AF. <laughs> so we're going to check out well, what the fuck this is about. <laughs> so Then Venom number 163, this is the conclusion of Poison X, the storyline. Uh, this is going to be before Venomized, which is going to wrap up the story that was set up in Venomverse. Uh, Poison X is it's a crossover with X-Men Blue. It's average. It's average leaning towards good. I don't even want to say good. It's average leaning towards fair. If you're a Venom fan, pick it up. You're going to like it. Otherwise, it's just kind of like... This is like the one storyline in this whole thing you can skip. Although some cool shit started to happen, but whatever. I have no idea why Captain America is still on my pool. 699. I guess I'm just going to... I guess it's just because of 700. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's fucking see what happens with this shit. Uh... God damn it, Mark Wade. I picked up Terrifics. I, if you remember last pull list, my store didn't have it. They got it later that weekend. So I was able to pick it up. We'll check out how it is. I've heard good things about all these New Age of Heroes comics. Apparently they're all fucking good. Justice League number 40 with Chris Priest. I like the regular cover, but I just I had to pick up this cover. This cover is gorgeous. Holy shit, this is so nice. But yeah, I couldn't get both, but whatever. Yeah. And last but not least... Green Lanterns. These variant covers on Green Lanterns with Baez and Cruz have been on fucking point. They, they're this beautiful. This is such a beautiful cover. This is still continuing the the internet dating superhero app. It's like Tinder for superheroes storyline. Like I said, I haven't gotten up this yet. I'm still reading the Sealy's second uh, Sealy's second arc. But yeah, we'll see how this is. Anyway, so yeah, so that's my pull list. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I don't think I got anything that's going to be bad. I think, I mean, no, I did. Captain Mark is going to be bad. Poison X is going to be average. We'll see how this is. This might be good, actually. But, yeah, like I said, like, share, and subscribe. Pick up 
Oblivion song number one, you will, you will not be sorry. Just try it. Trust me. You're going to really like it. And obviously, fucking Batman White Knight is the shit. Catch you guys later.